Franklin, since you've been gone on the new Jammin' 105. It's your baby Beth McCall doing the top 500 Jammin' oldies of all time. And in walks Stevie Wonder. 1963, he was known as the uh, 12-year-old genius. Then he went through a little thing called puberty. This was his comeback after his voice changed. They put his sound a little more into the funky side. Upside, everything is all right. Number 323. Are just sitting around listening to the radio. And meanwhile, tickets for Jamma Lama Live are gone. Oh my god. That's right. The last great summer concert of the century is sold out. And you don't have tickets yet? Hi, oh. uh, this is Philip Bailey of Earth, Wind, and Fire. And this is Barry White. Come sing a song with us September 11th at Jones Beach. Including the best seats in the house, right up front, right up front. Hit it! Keep listening to win your tickets. It's gonna be a September to remember with Jammin' 105. Jamalama Live, Jamalama Live at Jones Beach, starring Barry White and Earth, Wind, and Fire. It's the one show you don't want to miss, and it's sold out. So the only way to get in is to win only from New York's summertime soundtrack. Your fresh new. 105. Show your rights. Don't miss Jamming Oldies. Beth McCall. Jamming 105. Number 322. The new Jamming 105. Shame, shame, shame on you if you're not keeping track. We're doing the top 500 Jamming Oldies of all time. That's Shirley and Company at number 322. Hey. Hey. This is Sharon from the Boogie Down Bronx telling you that this is number 321, Grazing in the Grass by the Friends of the Sick. Show is milk, grazing in the grass. Number 320. Fontella Bass, Rescue Me, number 320 on the new Jammin' 105. It's your baby, we are counting them down the top 500. Jammin' all these of all time, just what your Labor Day weekend needs. That's my name, don't wear it out. Evelyn Champagne King used to be in the maintenance company. And she hit the big time with a question so many ladies ask themselves. I don't know if it's right to let you make love to me tonight, number 319 on New York's Jammin' all these. The top 500 jammin' oldies of all time are brought to you by SoldOut.com. And presented exclusively on Jammin' 105. Jammin' 105, what does it take to win your love? Junior Walker and the All-Stars, number 318. On the top 500 jamming oldies of all time, I'm your baby, Beth Buckle. Hi. Hi, this is Vinny from Smithtown. Next song is number 317, Smokey Robinson's Cruisin'. I am loving this countdown on New York's Jammin' 105. Cruise. 1027 WNEW, that's our pals, Days of the New, and a song called... Enemy, it's Sophie and Anthony. Hey. Uh, that's Travis Meeks on vocals, uh, a great guy. I think he's about 18 years old now, maybe 19 tops, right, Ant? Yeah, we met him uh, up in Boston when we had to sneak him beers backstage because they were too young to drink. Yeah, they did a few shows for our other radio station, and we, uh, we bought him beers. <laughs> the road manager was all pissed off. Like, Get them all drunk. It's like, dude, come on, man. It's it's tough enough keeping these guys under control. They're in high school. They're, like, huge all over the country. They're meeting chicks, and you guys are buying them beers. I get them drunk. Why not? I don't right. have fun. Exactly. Hmm. So uh, what, what was that joke, Anthony, that you were telling us just before we went on mic again? What? Huh? Why? Uh, you have no problem sharing with uh, everyone in the studio. Why not share with our listeners? All right. Um... Why didn't Superman save JFK Jr.? Um, why? Because he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> Are you proud of yourself? No. <laughs> I'm not taking credit for that. 
That's Raffi in Rockland. Uh, he sent it in on the instant feedback? Yeah. All right. I don't make these up. What are you kidding? <laughs> you didn't make up the uh, three funerals and a wedding joke? No. The new Kennedy movie? No. Didn't make that up either. All right. Just read them off of the feedback or hear them over the phones. Just wondering. Mm -hmm. A lot of people very sad about that tragedy, Anthony. Yeah, they found him, huh? Yep. Just like we said, still strapped to the uh, the plane. Ouch. Was he? Is that what it is? What are the details? Uh, I don't know. Many details. Yeah. That's, they found the plane and he's inside. Some drivers. They but didn't find the girls? They haven't mentioned that. I heard they didn't. Crosby and Nash. Now, 1027 NEW. Take the money and run. Which is not something that I can say that any one of the people that worked here, any of the uh, the music people over the years here at NEW, as it was the, for, the uh, forefront of rock stations. Not one person here was really here just for the money. I'm not saying that uh, facetiously, but everybody here loved the music. And I think that's uh, what made this place the biggest rock station in the country for so many years. And then, as I was saying, things changed. Things got uh, a little bit different. We had a little bit of change of direction. And so this is my, uh, my last show here. We had Steely Dan. And on the Western world, Steely Dan always uh, big favorites at the station. They, well, they had that reunion a couple of years ago. Everybody wanted them to come back again, but they didn't. And filter, take a picture of something brand new. See, you can put it all together. See, you can put the new stuff and the old stuff together. Duh. Okay? Uh, duh, that's my opinion there. Uh, WNEW. You're with Carol Miller. We got some more stuff for you, some requests. And, uh, oh, I want to thank Harris Allen for checking in and just so many... Great listeners, thank you so much. Life can be a trouble. Hi there, this is John Anderson of Yes, and you're listening to Carol Miller on 1027 WNEW FM, New York. You know that me and Earl, Earl Douglas always had a joke that whenever Seeger or the Allman Brothers were on the radio, even if the radio wasn't on in Pat's house, one ear would perk up. Kind of like a doll, you know. <laughs> You're with Carol Miller and, um, just trying to put together a lot of stuff that reminds me and you of N.E.W. as it was on the forefront of rock. And this is for Suzanne and Lynnhurst. Great request. Remember that movie? That was like the first cartoon animated rock movie. Wow. Don Felder. One of the two songs called Heavy Metal on the movie soundtrack at 1027 WNEW. Always get requests for that song. And that's for Randy in Cedarhurst. We thank you so much. And um, we had a little bit of uh, Fool Shine On, Brother Kane in there. And, you know, um, I, I really hope you've enjoyed the stuff that, that you ha you've picked tonight and I've put together for you. Because, um, you know, it's all from the world's largest rock and roll library, which still remains here at WNEW, even though the station is... Uh, Indeed, in transition and changing format, um, the library is down the hall, and I've been assured for music lovers everywhere that uh, it will remain intact. It's, uh, in fact, I don't even have a, they won't even let me in there. So, you know, we have every tape, everything ever recorded, every, every concert here, and um, hopefully people will remember that in the future. Well, we'll talk about that in just a couple. Anyway, this is Kara Miller, a little, little more to play for you here on NEW. Welcome. <laughs> B-103, requests and dedications, lunchtime at the mall shop. An order is coming in already. It's going to be a, a busy day. Yeah, make me busy. Give me a buzz for your request. Hi, who's this? This is Steve. Uh, would you dedicate Roses are Red uh, by Bobby Vinton to Lois from uh, Steve? Well, why don't you go out and buy her a dozen roses? Well, I haven't seen her since high school. Uh, I was looking through the yearbook, and uh, I... Uh, of well, I say this is the best way to send the roses over the radio, right? And here's right. a dozen roses from Bobby Vinton on B103. Thank you. Roses are red, my love. B103, Long Island's best and most oldies. Yes, some Polish power, Bobby Vinton. Roses are red from 1962 on lunchtime at the mall shop. Yes, you can get your request in right now, my friend. All I got to do is buzz the B-lines, and I'll take your order at 955-1031. <laughs> B-103 traffic for Long Island. Leslie Franklin, hello. How are the hello. roads looking? Well, we're starting out with a problem in uh, East Northport. It's an accident. Larkfield Road at Clay Fitz Road. There are some injuries involved. Please steer clear of this for a little while until they get it all cleared out. Pretty heavy delays on Comac Road. One lane closed both ways for construction between the LIE and Jericho Turnpike. That's going to be going on until 6 o'clock. Now, it's not bumper to bumper, but for noon, it's kind of heavy. Westbound Jericho Turnpike between Lakeville Road and Keene Avenue. Left lane closure till 4 o'clock. Eastbound side Little Lake Parkway to Lakeville Road. Left lane until 3 
LIE Vets to Route uh, or Vets Highway to uh, Motor Parkway construction work in the HO, HOV lane. That will be there till 3:30. And westbound Middle Country Road at Nichols Road in Center Reach. One lane closed till six. Eastbound till three. Long Island Railroad looking good so far. Everything on and close to schedule there. I'm Leslie Franklin. Remember when you're on Long Island roads, keep your radio on B103. We're all about Long Island. It's summertime, and you know what I think about at this time of year. <laughs> Buddy. Uh, gee, uh, I don't, Mom. The For the Keyspan Energy Solutions Nassau County Fair, presented by Newsday. At the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum, June 17th through 27th, featuring a giant state fair carnival with over 100 rides, games, and attractions. The best kitty rides on Long Island. And food? Bring your appetite. It's all delicious. Lots of free shows every day. The new Shark Show. Crampa Cratchit's Puppet Show. Racing Pigs. You can experience the thrill of the big cat. And see the new Sea Lion Show. Everyone loves the petting farm where you can feed the animals. Milk a cow and watch the baby chick pack. Keith Ben Energy Solutions, your heating and cooling experts, are proud sponsors of the Nassau County Fair at Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum, June 17th through 27th. Thursday, June 17th is Cablevision Family Night. Save $6. Admission is only $1, 5 till 7 and rides are only $1 each. Opening night only. Look for money-saving coupons at PC Richard & Son, Walt Bombs, Participating Burger Kings, and Newsday. Call 2103 Long Island Forecast. Good afternoon, I'm B103 Meteorologist Ray Stajic from the Weather Channel. We may get some wet weather this afternoon, but any shower activity will be light and spotty. Maybe even a rumble of thunder, mid-70s. 65 tonight, we'll get some showers and thunderstorms that could last into the early morning hours tomorrow. Otherwise, tomorrow afternoon looks real pretty. Comfortable, too, about 75. Just a chance we can only get up to near 65 on Wednesday with partly sunny skies. Okay, we're looking good today. Belmore checking in at 73. And on your radio, it's looking good at 103.1. 103 Long Island. The biggest names in the business are on Long Island's oldies. B-103. Hi, this is Frankie Valley of the Four Seasons. I want to thank you for listening to your favorite oldies on B-103. You're listening to New York's number one hit music station, Z-100. At number 31, Shaggy and Janet Jackson with Love Me, Love Me. By the way, that's on the movie soundtrack, How Stella Got Her Groove Back. How did she get her groove back? I don't know. See the movie. Our next group recently joined Jewel, B.B. King, Christina Aguilera, and other artists for a benefit concert called Christmas in Washington, where they performed Christmas songs before an audience that included President and Mrs. Clinton. The concert benefited the Children's National Medical Center in Washington. We're talking about 98 degrees. Yeah! And here they are for a second time on the countdown at number 30 with the hardest thing on Z100's Top 100 of 1999. We even know that I shouldn't be here. Z100's Top 100 songs of 1999. We'll be back with the Top 29 in a minute. But first, Gone But Not Forgotten. With your host, John Bell. We lost some people who were important to us this year. They are gone but not forgotten. The NFL's all-time leading rusher, Walter Payton, died of a rare liver disease. Payne Stewart, the golfer, was cut down in his prime, dying in a bizarre plane accident. Mario Puzo, the author of The Godfather, is gone. He's not writing anymore. And Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain, the NBA's record-setting giant, died suddenly of a heart attack. Gene Siskel, the movie critic, and one half of Siskel and Ebert passed on. Jim Catfish Hunter, a Hall of Fame pitcher with five World Series rings and 224 career wins, many of them as a Yankee, died of Lou Gehrig's disease. Gone are Fred Trump, multimillionaire developer and father of Donald Trump, DeForest Kelly, Bones McCoy on the original Star Trek series, Owen Hart, the professional wrestler known as Blue Blazer, Dana Plato, star of the TV sitcom Different Strokes, New York Jets owner Leon Hess, and Iron Eyes Cody, best known as the crying Indian from the Keep America Beautiful advertising campaign. But no loss could compare to the losses of baseball great Joe DiMaggio and the young John F. Kennedy. All of them gone, but none of them forgot. Coming up on the Top 100 Songs of 1999, the biggest winner at the American Music Awards with three trophies. And Z100 listeners select another Z Award when we get back. Stay tuned. Z100. Z100's Top 100 of 1999 is brought to you by BigStar.com. Check out BigStar.com, your online movie superstore with thousands of hit movies and hundreds of categories and start saving today. 
from 100 to number one. This is Z100's Top 100 Songs of 1999. Here's Elvis and Cubby. Hey, how's it feeling? Are we, in, are we in the 20s yet, Elvis Duran? Yes. All right, thanks for joining us. We're counting down Z100's Top 100 Songs of 1999. Cubby here. Elvis here. We started at number 100. We're making our way up to that number one song of 1999. What will it be? Back in January, our next artist was the American Music Awards Most Successful Performer by winning three awards. He won Favorite Male Artist, Favorite Soul and R&B Album, and Favorite Pop Album for his CD, Big Willie Style. That's right. It's Landfill Smith with uh, New Jersey. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, New Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, New Jersey. Wait, uh, wait, 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 wait. Stop this music. Oh, I like that version. No, no, no. That was a parody song you guys played on the morning show. Can we get back to the real countdown, please, Elvis? Okay, okay, Cubby. Whatever. Mr. Blowhole. At number 29 on the top 100 of 1999, it's the real Will Smith in Miami on Z100. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. Z100, New York's number one hit music station. If you're just joining us, we're counting down Z100's top 100 songs of 1999. At number 29, that was Will Smith in Miami. I'm Elvis. I'm Cubby. Our next song was written and produced by Wycliffe Jean, who also appears alongside our next artist in the video. Our next artist said that the song appealed to her because it's a universal message about the destruction of the world and when it ends. Well, how uplifting is that? Woo, I'm excited. A song about the end of the world from Whitney Houston at number 20. My Love Is Your Love on Z100's Top 100 of 1999. This is Z100's Top 100 Songs of 1999. More to come after the Z Awards. We asked Z100 listeners to give us their favorites of the year. Or favorite TV show. The nominees are Friends, Dawson's Creek, Allie McBeal, and Felicity. And the winner is... Your favorite TV show is Friends. <laughs> Coming up on the top 100 songs of 1999, In and Out, Part 2. As the countdown rolls on. We'll be right back. Z100. Z100's top 100. WABC Rewild, the entire day of music voices and memories from WABC way back when we were a music radio station. This is not a clever recreation, and not a bunch of guys hanging around talking about the good old days. What you're hearing is the original sound, the real thing, taped back as it happened. Using audio from various sources, including collectors who actually taped it at home off the air, in-studio air checks, some of them have been scoped, meaning the music has been shortened so we can hear more of what was going on between the music. And in some cases, we've actually recreated the old sound by inserting the music back into scoped air checks. Lots of legendary old station jingles and promos, catchy old commercials. You know, most of what you're hearing hasn't been played in public since it was first aired way back. Well, you figure it out. If you have a moment, give us a call right now and tell us how you like the program at 1-800-848-WABC. And we'll get back to more of what this station sounded like back in the day on WABC Rewound. ABC, the home of the Rocky Allen Showgram in the morning. Boom, boom, boom. Dr. Lore at night. And I love the way you talk. Rush at noon. When you walk over that wall. Sean Kennedy at three. And you talk that talk. Curtis and Kuby at six. You knocked me out. Curtis Lou at ten. And Art Bell all night. Talking with talk. A new lineup. A new oh, attitude. Oh, oh, oh. 77 WABC. 1036, yours truly, Curtis Lee, we're joining you here, pumping out the 50,000 powerful watts of sound, now reaching 38 states and parts of old Canada. But a very special day it is in the history of radio because these past hours since 6 o'clock this morning have virtually been uh, dedicated to a retrospective of WABC, the place that many of you have always been when we've been spinning stacks of wax from uh, 1960 on to the changeover from Top 40 radio across the nation to what now is the number one talk station across the nation. And because uh, Johnny Donovan, the voice of WABC, longest voice uh, in uh, constant use and constant hearing, uh, came up uh, with this uh, concept 
of a Memorial Day WABC Rewound. I'm glad to tag team on and take you to the 1 o'clock hour. And who knows if tonight that Uni Kazuni from Parts Unknown, Art Bell, will surface. Boy, he'll still be uh, veg frying out there with his extraterrestrial friends. But, uh, <laughs> but in fact, Art Bell often mentions that he grew up listening to WABC radio uh, out on the island, and it inspired him uh, to go on and to uh, dedicate uh, his life uh, to radio broadcast. But here are some other gentlemen who've joined me in studio tonight who have uh, not only made this a hobby, but it's a passion. Uh, I, it's hard to describe because they've lived it, they've breathed it, they've slept it. They probably kept those little transistor radios underneath their pillows listening to it 24-7-365. Let me introduce all three. First and foremost, we have Alan Sniffin in, who actually is the webmaster for the WABC website. Uh, we will be making reference to that throughout the night because there is the message board there that many of you can either tag on to or just scope it maybe for the very first time and make it a habit because it's great. It's at www.musicradio77.com and thanks Alan for coming on board. No, it's a pleasure to be here Curtis and, and I just got to say this one time so you'll bear with me okay. This is WABC New York. Now I can die. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now uh, before I introduce uh, your other two friends and pals here Alan yeah. Uh, just give us a general idea where the idea for the website came up for the historic WABC, as most people know it. Well, I, I, I think, Curtis, the thing is that there were so many of us that grew up with music radio WABC that it seemed like the kind of thing that I thought should be brought back in some way, shape, or form. And, and what happened was the Internet provided a way for us to provide audio from WABC. There have been books written about WABC. There have been articles written about it. There's been a lot of discussion about it over the years because it is probably the landmark top 40 radio station of all time. But what was never possible before now was providing audio from WABC, Music Radio WABC, and that we can do on the website. You can go to the website. You can click on sound files. And rather than have me sit here or write or say to you, WABC Music Radio was a wonderful radio station, now I can say, go to www.musicradio77.com and click on the sound file, and you can hear how great Music Radio WABC was. And I felt... Long Island's number one hit music station, 106.1 BLI. New music from NSYNC and Gloria Estefan. It's called Music of My Heart. Donnie Peters getting ready to check out Andy Burns and Just Joe standing by with another 50 minutes of hit music and... They're going to be qualifying you for a cruise for two to Mexico, stopping in Cabo San Lucas, amongst other places. You can qualify by winning a psychedelic Slurpee gift bag. Slurpee? Yeah, what, what's a Slurpee? No, a psychedelic Slurpee gift bag. That includes a Phillips portable CD player. It's coming up after 7 o'clock. Stay tuned. BLI Instant, instant Requests. Hey, what song, what song you want to hear? Mango number five. Mango number five. I love mango number five. They're coming out with papaya number four and banana number seven. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Who's this? Yellis. Yellis, where are you calling from? Um, Lake Wangagama. I'm going to put it on the radio for you right now. It, here is uh, mango number five. We love you. <laughs> we love you too. Bye-bye, uh, bye produce section. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> is that really the name of the song? I don't know. Hey, big, big guy, guy in the, in the corner. corner. What do you call this song? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mambo number five. Oh, Mambo. I love there. Well, this summer I've got a more sophisticated approach for us. Really? No more pickup lines, no more gimmicks. Well, that's great. What's the approach? British accents. Excuse me? British accents, governor. Oh, man. The ladies love a bloke with a bloody accent. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Hello, my love. I'm Louis the Bloody Lizard. Oh, that's great. I work for the chaps at Budweiser. The bloody stuff is Beechwood age. You're going to have a bloody nose in a minute. Come on, Frank, try it. Now, accents are very sexy. Really? Uh-huh. Okay. <clears throat> hey, I'm Frank. I'm from bloody England. Cheerio. Oh, that's nice. British guy from Brooklyn. Hey, that's come good. On, that's huh? not going to work. That's as good as yours. Try harder. Well, why can't we just be sincere and use our own voices? Because that technique is not working, Frank. What? We haven't had a date in five years. Yeah, that's true. Now put on some bloody knickers, would you? And let's hit the pubs. Good idea, mate. Hi, I'm Frank the Bloody Lizard. Charlie Come on, let's go down to the bloody West End. Fish and chips. Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. Let's <laughs> <laughs> everyone here Music Station. 106.1 BLI. Steve and Maria, 758. Another great day like yesterday coming up. Sunny, breezy.
Hi, 62. 50 right now. Going to be hanging with Shaggy, our special guest, after 8.30 this morning. I, you know, he's got to do Mr. Bombastic. Mr. Bombastic. <laughs> or, oh, Carolina. Yeah, all that. Mr. Lover. 758. Let's get with your traffic. What's going on this morning, Susie B.? Westbound Sunrise Highway at Lakeland Avenue, Bohemia. Very slow uh, traffic moving over there. Also, uh, good news, Newbridge Road at Barkley Street in Hicksville. An accident has been cleared away. Westbound Northern State Parkway, very heavy between uh, Wolf Hill Road and uh, Route 110. Then again from the Meadowbrook all the way into Queens. Westbound Southern State Parkway, you're slow at Straight Path to uh, Broadway. And then from the Meadowbrook Parkway to Eagle Avenue and Westbound LIE, you're jammed from Betts Highway to Bagatelle Road. And then from Jericho Turnpike to New Hyde Park Road. Long Island Railroad is running on our closest schedule. I'm Susie B. BLI Traffic. This is a thankless job. Look at One hit music station, 106.1 BLI. Good morning, everybody. It's Steve and Maria. Ballistics here. Susie B. with your BLI Traffic. Chunga, the producer. Shannon, the intern. It's going to be sunny, breezy, high of 62, 50 right now. BLI, good morning. How's it going? Pretty good. How you doing? Not bad, not bad. We just calling. We were listening to your, uh, your the broadcast here about the girl that sees the... Uh, the grandmother or somebody that had died. Yeah, She's a ghost, room. yeah. Yeah, and my, all my guys start saying, call in, call in, tell them the story. What's and, up? Uh, my brother was murdered uh, years ago. It was a uh, well-known, uh, it was a big crime. And uh, to make a long story short, um, every, every time you go up into his bedroom and you stare into the window. Yeah. Uh, well, not every time, but most of the time that you go up there and you stare into the window. If you stand there long enough, eventually his reflection comes and he smiles at you. Oh, he, whoa. He, Dude, that is yeah. heavy. It was in magazines. We had um, we had all types of uh, you know different scientists come and everything else, and it ended up being coming like a real hassle. But uh, yeah, it's true. Like whenever we miss them, we'll go up there and we'll sit inside the bedroom, like on different holidays or whatever, and we'll look in the we'll look into the the window, and his reflection comes, and he smiles, and he'll stand there, he'll stay with you as long as you want him to. That is like totally freaky. That's kind of cool. neat because he's always kind of with you. Yeah, yeah. Well, but then like my guys didn't believe me or whatever. So the one guy that's with me, it's. Uh, He's been with me about seven years, working for me now. He went up there the one time, and he actually seen him, too, and he, he just, like, completely flipped out. Yeah, he Man. got proof, right? He was crazy. Where do you live? Uh, I'd rather not say, because everybody really knows about this. Oh, gotcha. then you'll have, like, a tourist attraction, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, with a, what happens is it actually finally died down a few years ago. People stopped calling and wanting to do all these <laughs> types of tests or whatever, so. When was the last time you saw the reflection? Um, when was the last time? When did I tell you that I was with? It's probably about a month ago. Wow. I don't live home anymore, so. But yeah. I go there, you know, whenever I think about him or whatnot. And a lot of times, like, he'll just pop into my, my head. Like, it's kind of like he wants me to go and, and go see him. Well, you know what? You got a place to go, and you know that uh, he's always going to be there for you. That's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's something else, though. But Thank I'll tell you, it's clear as day. It's like a mirror. Thank you very much for calling. That is, that You're is welcome. Off the wall. Thank you. Bye-bye. Wow.